Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. I'm Anne Marie, the Spiritual Life Coach and Energy Worker, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to deal with low self worth. So, low self worth is um, something that really is huge for people. Most of the clients that I see come to see me because they're suffering in some way with low self worth, and that can trigger anxiety, that can trigger fear phobias that can sabotage relationships. So one of the ways to um, understand uh, low self-worth, one of the ways to deal with low self-worth is to first understand it. Okay, so it, we're born in a society or we're born with a set of parents that we may or may not have chosen, depending on what you believe um, that you want to experience in this world. And they may have um, put upon you uh, unwittingly their own beliefs and their own patterns of behavior and how they see the world and how they feel about their place in the world and that can really filter down onto you as a child. School may not have been great for you, uh, relationships may have been a struggle for you or maybe not. Maybe you were a high achiever because you felt that's what you had to do and every time you achieve something new it just wasn't good enough. So every time you have a, um, a criticism about somebody else, a judgment about somebody else, it's normally because that judge and that inner critic in you is rife and it's playing out onto other people. However you feel about other people is normally how you feel about yourself. So when we um, look, when I work with a client and I look at their self-worth, obviously we need to go back and we need to find those frozen memories. We need to find when that first ever belief was formed that you weren't good enough. And we need to do some energy work around that which can propel you forward. We do some quantum healing and we do some quantum visualization as well. So we open up your quantum field and we um, explore the future possibility where you are feeling full of confidence and full of self-esteem. But every time you um, make a judgment, let's say for instance uh, you're in a relationship and the guy um, doesn't call you when he says he does. So somebody who's suffering with low self-worth will automatically presume it's about them. They're not good enough. I knew that this wasn't going to work. Who do I think I am dating somebody like that? So when that judgment comes in and that criticism comes in, underneath that emotion is a vulnerability. And that's why we get so emotive about it and we go to our default setting. So if our default setting is low self-worth, low self-esteem, there's something wrong with me, then that's what we will assume and presume every incident is telling us about ourselves because we will always be looking to be right. So the guy doesn't call when he says, and you automatically assume, you make a judgment that he doesn't like me, he doesn't want to be with me, I'm not, therefore, I'm not good enough for him. That emotion then wells up in you. And you'll feel that emotion somewhere in your body and it will be different for everybody, but that's where you are stored and, and hung on to the energy. Um, it may actually cause you a physical problem, a stomach um, issue, IBS, or something like that. But underneath that emotion, so next time you experience this, ask what is this emotion before you go off and you know catastrophize the relationship and dump him or whatever you normally do. Just sit with it for a minute. Just become an, an observer of what is happening for you. So you'll ex the situation will arise, you'll have an emotion, you'll have a thought, you'll have the emotion. Just see what that emotion is telling you so you can really get a hold of what you're experiencing rather than just brush it off and, and, and move on. So think about what it is you're experiencing and ask yourself, 
What is my vulnerability? What is my fear? It's more than likely a fear of being abandoned, a fear of being rejection, rejected, a fear of being on my own. Now when you get down to that, that fear, that vulnerability, you can then start to rationalise. You can then start to put things into perspective from your adult eyes. This vulnerability will have stemmed from something that's happened earlier in your life, an experience that you've had of being let down or of not feeling good enough. Somebody's told you you're not good enough. You've experienced that pain before and that memory is frozen, that energy is frozen and carried with you. So when you realise that every judgement, underneath every judgement, every criticism, lies a vulnerability, and then you find out, ask yourself, what is, what, what am I vulnerable, what am I afraid of, what is this emotion about, what's this vulnerability I'm scared of experiencing here, fear, abandonment, rejection, and then put yourself into your adult shoes, your adult body, your adult energy body. This you know, would take a bit of, bit of clearance from the past, but when you can come from that perspective, and say, is this true? Do I need to feel this way? Does this situation really represent what I'm feeling, what I'm vulnerable of? And then you can start to see things differently. You can start to behave differently. You can, instead of um, dumping the guy, sabotaging the relationship, finding a new one, the same thing will happen again. Instead of doing that, you can come from an adult point of view and you can put things into a different perspective and you can choose. You can choose from your adult, mature, emotionally intelligent self. And that undoubtedly will lead to a different way of living. So your self-worth will be lifted. You won't be experiencing the same emotional vulnerability. You won't be telling yourself the same script that it's all about you, that you're not good enough, because that isn't true. So you need to find out what you're emotionally vulnerable of, and then we can work on that. Okay.